Welcome to the Dr. Janine Show. I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today we are continuing the conversation. I'll be talking about tips for full body detox and what they don't want you to know. So if you caught last week's show on Tuesday, I discussed, you know, different aspects of detoxification in terms of forever chemicals. So if you missed that show and microplastics, I talked about as well. So check that out. But enjoy today's show because we're talking all about the different organ systems, why it's so important to detoxify all of the organs at once. And I'll be talking about some things that you probably haven't heard as it's related to the mind-body connection when we're talking about detoxifying the body. So we also will be doing our trivia section. So of course we do this every week and this week you will be drawing for the VitaTree Vita Detox. So this is from our fantastic sponsors at VitaTree and our winner will be randomly selected from all of the people that just participate. You don't need to get your answers correct. We will be using Lucy. So if you're familiar from last week's show, we will be using Lucy and it's a little bit of an anatomy slash physiology quiz. So if you're in that field that you definitely have an advantage, but it's just for fun. And of course, everybody who participates is going to be put into that pot that we stir up and randomly choose the correct winner. So stay tuned for that. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. I am Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and I talk all things natural and protocols as to how you can get yourself better and healthier for that long, healthy life. If you do have questions throughout the show, make sure that you put them in the question and comment section. And I appreciate all the likes, all of those presents and things that you can send me throughout the show. And just if you're just going to say hello, then just do that as well. I like to see all of my regular followers just say a nice hello. So let's get right to it. Let's talk first about the liver. So here's nine ways to detoxify your liver naturally. So I already took the liberty of removing Lucy's liver, but this is what your liver looks like. And of course, if you want to sort of feel down on your body, you shouldn't be able to feel your liver. It's tucked up underneath your right rib cage. So that's something that you can just be aware of where your liver is. I don't know if we can see this on the camera, but yeah, so right under your right rib cage, that's where your liver is. Now, tip number one for detoxing your liver is to squeeze some fresh lemon juice in water first thing in the morning. This is a great way to gently get your liver going and I prefer warm water but you know any type of water is great there's a new trend I'm going to be doing a, uh, some videos on this on the coffee and lemon connection in the morning for detox and for weight loss so that's something that I'll comment on in a future video okay tip number two for detoxifying the liver naturally is to use milk thistle this is one of my favorite herbal medicines not only does it help to detoxify the liver but it helps to regenerate healthy liver cells. So yes, your liver can actually regenerate and regrow. So you can lose a large portion of your liver function and still grow new healthy liver cells. So that's the remarkable ability of our internal organs given the right environment. And that's why detoxification is so important. Now there's also another favorite herbal medicine, turmeric. So we know that this is a root that in traditional Indian cuisine has has been around for a very long time and it's that active component the curcumin which is so medicinal and this is where all the studies are really looking at the connection with being able to detoxify and really help your liver function because of that concentrated curcumin so when you are taking a turmeric and let's say it's a supplement make sure you're looking for that high percentile so a 95 percentile of the curcuminoids from that curcumin really really important for helping again to detoxify but also regenerating healthy liver cells. Now, tip number four is to avoid fructose. So this is fruit sugar. So as much as fruit, you know, in the right season, depending on where you live, can be very healthy. At the same time, we have to be a little bit careful with fructose because it doesn't go through the same type of metabolism as other sugars. And this is where the liver and fatty liver, that correlation is definitely there. I've got other videos that go into more 
depth as to the explanation of this so check out my videos on fatty liver but it's really important to avoid too much fructose so that means fruit and eating it too much of it out of season fruit juice is not something that I usually recommend for most people I actually pretty much eliminated it from our own home because I just found that the kids were always wanting juice 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 and and they've been very well it's not to say that I don't ever buy juice but I do once in a while as a treat but they have become very accustomed to drinking their water, which in my opinion is the healthier way to go. Okay, tip number five is making sure that you're taking care of your mitochondrial health. So your, sorry, your mitochondria, your cells in the mitochondria, this, these are your energy producing cells and it's really important that you are fixing something called your leptin resistance. If you haven't yet seen my videos on leptin resistance, make sure you check them out. That's really important in terms of hormonal balance, but really helping your mitochondria with which when we're talking about longevity, keeping healthy mitochondria is really important. And that's important for your liver health as well. Now, tip number six is to put sun on your liver. What does that mean? That means exposing your abdomen and remember where your liver is on the right hand side to some natural sunlight. And yes, whenever you see that sun, you should be thinking, okay, I've got to expose my skin and that abdomen as much as possible because it really does have a healing effect. And it's it's the different wavelengths of light from the sun. It's not just about, you know, UV and getting a suntan it's more about the infrared the far infrared which actually penetrates more deeply so beyond just the skin layer penetrates more deeply and into our organs so that is really important especially if you do have compromised liver function tip number seven is coffee so where do you think I'm gonna go on this one guys am I gonna say coffee good or coffee not so good well it really does depend and coffee actually can help your liver function it and it helps to increase your phase one detox in your liver so for a lot of people coffee is very helpful in terms of detoxification for the liver so that of course in moderation not overdoing it and getting a healthy coffee is something that I definitely recommend and organic definitely is something that that you're going to look into and fresh you don't want it to be you know getting moldy and things that's a whole other concern with coffee and tea tip number eight is to make sure that your mind body connection is in on track so the emotion that's related to the liver is anger so if you hold on to a lot of resentment if you can't readily let go of your anger this can be a problem for your liver function and that may not be something that you you know are familiar with but this is you know a great tip if you are struggling with liver issues to really be able to help your liver function and to be able to do that naturally okay now tip number nine is all about doing a full body detox. So can everybody hear me guys? Okay, I think I'm good. So full body detox, why do I suggest that? Well, because when you do one type of detox, let's say you're just doing a liver detox, you can run the risk of actually making yourself more sick. And this is why people often, when they're doing detoxes and cleanses, they don't feel well and they might be nauseous, they might you know, feel sick to the stomach, they might get headachey. Well, that can be because of pushing the toxins from that toxic liver to other organs that aren't ready for handling that toxic load. And I'm going to demonstrate this for you. So we know that when we are detoxing, and let's say, you know, and a lot of detoxes and cleanses on the market are at fault, in my opinion, because what they're doing is, yes, they are stirring up those toxins. So let's say it is just a liver cleanse so let's say you know you decide to just focus on your liver health well what happens then is you're stirring up those toxins but essentially now what you're doing is those toxins have to go somewhere to get out of the body so now essentially you're sort of shifting those toxins from one toxic organ to another and that's why the headaches come that's why you might you know have loose stools and not feel well when you do just one organ detox and most specifically the liver this is very common because if your gut so if your intestines aren't ready and they're toxic as well and now you're shifting these liver toxins for elimination to a toxic gut that isn't being detoxed at the same time 
this is when you can have the loose stool. So I think, you know, that makes sense for a lot of people. Now, the difference with doing a full body detox is very different because now you're going to be filtering things in a different way. So again, we're going to ask with a full body detox. So what that means, and I'll explain it, you know, throughout the show, what a full body detox means, but you're addressing and, you know, using specific things and herbal medicines to work on all of the internal organs at once. So the liver, the kidneys, the lungs, the digestive tract, the skin, the lymphatic system, the blood. So all of that happening at once and that now is essentially looking and acting like that great filter which now this is why doing the right type of full body detox and I promise we'll talk more about that. We'll share links at the bottom of the video if you are watching this on YouTube where you can always reference back to it. But doing that full body detox, this is when you get the clarity. This is when you get the weight loss perhaps. The headaches disappear that you did have previously. Your skin starts to clear up. The acne clears up. The rosacea clears up. You have you know, a better frame of mind and that's because of the full body detox addressing all of those organs at once. So. It really is a distinctive difference and I was happy to show this to you today. Now I know if you're listening to this on a podcast it's a little bit more difficult for you to interpret what you know I was showing here on the set but a great way to do that full body detox. Okay so now we will get to how to detoxify the kidneys. So we're going to come back to that in just a moment. So we know that the kidneys are, yes, they are responsible for producing our urine, so our pee, but at the same time, they're very important for detox. So actually most of the kidney function is all about detoxification. So the first tip is, of course, to drink enough water. Now, the type of water that you're drinking definitely makes a difference. I have a whole show on water. If you missed it, then make sure you check it out on YouTube. But that's really important. So one of the things to make sure that there is absolutely no fluoride in the water. That's something you can check on a water bottle if you're purchasing bottled water. So that's really important. As well as there's something called deuterium depleted water. So I, I did a whole show again on deuterium depletion and why that's important for overall health, especially if you're, you know, dealing with certain health concerns and very specific ones, and for longevity as well. So that's something that you can learn more about. Now, another tip for the kidneys is to take parsley. So parsley is one of my favorite herbal medicines, which is fantastic for kidney detox. And that is something that you can definitely integrate into your cooking. It may be part of a full body detox you know recipe that um, in terms of herbal medicines that you can take as well now did you know that milk thistle so we know that milk thistle helps the kidneys and the liver but did you know that you can actually regenerate healthy kidney cells as well and milk thistle is you know one of those herbal medicines that can very be very powerful and impactful on helping with your kidney health as well now another thing, coming back to the sun, which you know this is something that I talk a lot about, making sure that you get natural sunlight on your back. And this is important at different times of the day. So in the morning is important, but at nighttime, so closer to what, as the sun is going down and the sunset, those active rays from the sun, so that red and that far infrared light and the infrared light is very healing to the body. And this is why the far infrared saunas are so helpful as well. So getting that natural sunlight on your back from the sun can be very healing to your kidney health. Another herbal medicine that I love for the kidneys is horsetail. So this is known as Equisetum arvense. It actually looks like a horse's tail when you actually look at the herbal medicine itself. And this is really great at detoxifying the kidneys, as is bearberry. So bearberry is known as Arctostaphylos uva ursi, and it's another fantastic herbal medicine to help to detox the kidneys. Now, again, we all always want to think about if we're going to, you know, target the kidneys that we're also addressing the other organs like the liver, like the skin, because the kidneys, the skin, the lymphatic system, the lungs, all of these detoxing them at the same time in a full body detox in the right way and in a gentle way is definitely the way that I recommend that people, you know, address this full body detox. Now, one of the other things that you can think about, of course, is the mind body connection. 
So the emotion related to the kidneys is actually fear. So if there has been a fearful event, if you tend to be fearful, if you have anxiety, stresses, and stress and fear are different, and I would categorize them a little bit differently. Fear is that you know, sometimes that innate fear, but those true, true fears can harbor in your kidney health. So this is something that you, you definitely want to do your best to seek out help to be able to release those fears. So again, food for thought. I hope that you're learning something new. If you're just tuning in today, I'm talking about tips for full body detox and what they don't want you to know. So detoxification is certainly poo-pooed, I believe. And, you know, in my experience over the years as a naturopathic doctor, a lot of of people don't agree that detoxification is an important aspect of having a healthy life and longevity. So in my opinion, it's something that is absolutely integral in being healthy and staying healthy. So a few shout outs. Hello to Nina on YouTube. Nice to see you. Sherry Arletta and are on Facebook. Nice to see you, everyone. Hello, Francis. I see nice to see you. Um, Sasha, nice to see you. Sasha, oh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holly, nice to see you as well. Fi is here as well. Raina said oh, a lot. Brent is here as well. Um, thank you, guys. I see a lot of the regulars are here on TikTok as well. And hello on Instagram and on Facebook as well. Thank you for tuning in today. So Today we're talking all about full body detox and we do have, so don't forget, we're coming up to our quiz section. We will be using Lucy. So we will be drawing, if you're just tuning in, we will be drawing for the detox. And that's something that's really important in terms of, you know, being able to have this sent home to you because it is, you know, a free giveaway and you will love that. Okay, so now let's move on. We're going to talk about eight tips to detoxify the blood. So we know that our blood cardiovascular system, <coughs> excuse me, is the go-between of our organ health. So if we don't address detoxing the blood, then we're not always addressing that full body detox. So tip number one to help to detox the blood is to do the foot bath. So we do have a special recipe and you can actually, which is tip number two, to do this recipe in a full body bath, something that I shared in a previous episode. So you can check it out. It's also posted on Instagram. So that's something that you can look up, but it's mixing specific herbal medicines with some sea salt or Himalayan salt into a foot bath and allowing those toxins to come out your feet and that is a remarkable way to do that full body detox and it's very very popular and I mean the effects of doing this is incredible so make sure you check it out if you haven't yet tried it make sure you try it I want to hear from you how that goes from you as well as tip number three for detoxing the blood is exercise. You've got to get that blood pumping. Some form of exercise is, I think, doable by most people. So just do your best to get your exercise in. Tip number four is doing the sauna. So whether that's a traditional Finnish sauna or, of course, doing the far infrared sauna, which I love, it's a great way to help to detoxify the blood and bring those toxins out through the perspiration in the sweat. Tip number five is to use hot and cold therapy. So you know that this is something that I, I love the cold therapy. I'm a proud Canadian girl and loving to, you know, embrace our cold Canadian winters here. But there's certainly other ways you don't need to live in Canada to uh, be able to enjoy the benefits of cold therapy. And it's a great way, especially if you go between the hot and cold, it's a great way to detoxify the blood. Tip number six is to limit your EMF exposure. So this is something that I have a bunch of videos on. Make sure that you, you know, are limiting your exposure from those things that, you know, like your Wi-Fi, like your cell phone, anything that's plugged in around your bed. Really important to decrease that exposure to help with your full body detox. Grounding is also very important. This is tip number seven. So detoxifying you want to make sure that you're bringing those negative electrons from the earth into the body this has a lot to do with blood flow it's actually been studied so you can look this up in PubMed there's numerous studies actually on the beneficial effects of grounding earthing as it's called as well to help with that blood flow especially in the lower extremities and tip number eight the mind-body connection to detoxing the blood is if you think about it maybe you've heard this before somebody's 
said this, you know, what makes what's making your blood boil or my blood is boiling? Well, that's anger again. So relating back, this could be partially related, of course, to the liver. But what is making your blood boil? can be related to the blood, of course, and that internal anger that doesn't have a healthy outlet. So having those healthy outlets is an important aspect of helping with your full body detox. So there you have it. That was all about detoxing the blood. Now, really quickly, we will be getting to our quiz section in just a few moments. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to talk really quickly on the lymphatic system and then we'll get to the quiz. Okay, so how do we detox the lymphatic system? Well, one of the things that I love to do is a specific lymphatic drainage massage. So what you do, basically, let's do it really quickly. If you've missed my other videos, I don't want you to miss out. You're going to start above and below your clavicles. I, I don't know, guys. Can I get rid of the mic for a second? Am I going to be okay? I got to see if uh, I'm clear to do that. Yes? Yeah. I'm good? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, perfect. <laughs> got to check with my crew back there. Okay. Okay, so all you're going to do is use your fingers with very light touch above and below your collarbone. And you're going to do that on both sides. And you sort of sweep from, from the shoulder area towards your midline. And that helps to get the lymph going. And you're not pressing hard. You have to press very lightly to get that lymph flowing. Then you're going to just go down the front of your neck like this. And I usually do it five to ten times. Then right behind your ears and down your chin. And this is great for the morning as well, ladies, and at nighttime as well to get that lymph flowing. It's a part of my beauty routine anyways, to just get everything flowing. Things can be a little bit stagnant after sleep, so I like to do this. And then you're gonna do it the back of your neck. So just, you know, along the back of your neck, gently like this, and then you can come back to draining again and then go through that whole process again. So that's a great way to get that lymph flowing and to really help. Now this is fantastic, especially not just for the beauty aspects, but if you have, you know, stuffed up throat, um, uh, nose and throat, sore throat, a great way to drain the lymphatic system. Now there are some very specific herbal medicines that are great for the lymphatic system. I love horse chestnut, butcher's broom, go to cola. These are really great at moving that lymph. They're fantastic for cellulite as well. So that's something that you can definitely look into. I promise that we'll share some links to a great combination for getting that lymphatic system moving beyond, you know, doing the full body detox, as well as watch your dairy intake. So we know that dairy can be very congestive to the lymphatic system, especially if it's not grass fed organic um, dairy consumption, this can really sort of um, clog up, let's say your lymphatic system. So you, you really want to do your best to avoid dairy, especially if you have chronic lymphatic issues. Your EMF exposure is also important to, you know, limit your EMFs, get more grounding into your life, of course, is great to move the lymphatics. And the best type of exercise is any exercise to get your lymph moving. The lymph doesn't move on its own in your body. It's something that you have to actively get going. It's unlike our blood flow, which moves on its own with the help of our heart. Our lymphatic system needs that extra stimulation. So one of the best exercises is rebounding. So the mini trampoline or a big trampoline, uh, jumping up and down is one of the best ways to get that lymph flowing. Now, in terms of the mind-body connection with the lymphatic system, this is something that you definitely want to think about letting things flow and ask yourself, you know, where are things stagnated in your life? Where are things not flowing? And that's why it's so important for your lymphatic system on the mind body connection to make sure that you're letting things flow in your life. And I do have affirmations, you know, that I do share. Um, so I encourage you to, you know, check out some of my binaural beats. So my auditory music and healing music videos as well here on YouTube, because it's a great reference. If you're having, you know, difficulty meditating, you need to get relaxed, you need to get into that flow state so that you start to feel better. So today, if you're just tuning in, we're talking all about tips for full body detox, what they don't want you to know. We're streaming live on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And hello to everybody who's watching today. Okay, so I think we're going to go to our quiz section. So this is something, again, 
I want you just to try your best, do your best to, you know, put your answers in. You don't have to get everything right. Just do your best. And I'm going to do my best to call out as many names as possible. Aisha, good morning. Nice to see you. Um, and Kathy, hi, nice to see you. It's, I can see you. You're both on Facebook. Okay. Are we ready? Here we go. Um, it's a little bit more tricky, I think, this week compared to last week. Just do your best. Just put in your answers. Okay. Question number one. What organ is this? Question number one. What organ is this? Let's see. Um, live, laugh, 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 laugh. 82, nice to see you. Hello, Blasian. Hello, nice to see you. TikTok has it, Brent. Very good. Uh, Steve, good job. Good try, everybody else. So far, just board K1. Good job, Raki 100. Good job. Uh, nice try, Francis. Patty has it on Instagram. Good job on Instagram. Uh, Arletta, good job. Um, good try, Sherry. Aisha, good job. Uh, and Kathy, good job on Facebook. Awesome, awesome. RSS R -S need, RSS need on Instagram. Good job. Good job. Sherry. Yeah. Good try. Good try. <laughs> Simons and Hanita on Instagram. Good job. Uh, anybody else have want to take a crack at it? So if you're listening on the podcast, I'm just thinking of this now. Not that I forgot about you. We, I am pointing to different parts of my Lucy mannequin. And I just pointed at the kidney. So congratulations to everybody who said kidney. The kidney was correct. Okay, question number two. I am pointing at something else. What is this? There are two right on top of the kidneys. Anybody know what that is? I told you it would be a little bit trickier this week. <laughs> my producer Melinda in my ear says she doesn't even know what that is. So I guess it is a little bit of a trickier question. Oh, wow. Amiga Cubana. Brent, I am impressed. Good job, everyone. Raina, good try. Um, Linzo6, good job. Anybody else? Patty on Instagram has it. Uh-huh. Blasian Shaw, good job. Anybody else? Oh, Kathy, good job. Uh, <laughs> Sherry says she's not guessing. That's funny. That's good. Hey, just guess. Just guess. Uh, okay, uh, some more. Wow. Hazel MC... Um, Carmen Bab, good job. Live Love Laugh 82, good job. I am no rapper on Instagram, has it? I like your handle name, that's awesome. Liz Q, RSS Need as well, good job everyone. Hey, and thanks for all the likes and everything that you're sending and all the new follows. I, that's, thank you, Raina. That's so kind of you. I love getting presents and flowers and all those fun things and those happy faces. That's all very good. Thank you, thank you to everybody who's supporting the show. I'm glad that you're having fun. Okay, so the answer was the adrenal glands. So whenever people, whenever, you know, people discuss the adrenals and stress and cortisol and that's, that's where they are, right on top of the kidneys. So now, now you can picture it and send love to your adrenal glands. Okay, question number three. Hmm, I didn't even plan this one so well. Where am I gonna go next? Ooh, I just thought of a really tricky one, but that's, I won't do that. Okay, let's go, I don't know, can the camera see this down here? What is this down here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out in just a second, but I'm gonna leave it in position so that you know. This one's, this one's hard. This one's hard. Does anybody know what that is? Woo, Steve, that was fast. Um, Francis, something sounds romantic. <laughs> what did I say? I'm trying to think back <laughs> what I said. <laughs> ah, Raina, wow, it's, maybe it's not as hard as I thought. Uh, Real Alpha Chief, good job. Brent, good job. Liz has it, good job as well. Uh, K C K Sone One, good job. Hazel MC, good job. Propriada, good job. I am no rapper, good job. 
I am Alicia. Arletta has it as well. Good. Annie's mom has it. Um, Sherry, Sherry's good with the jokes this morning. Hey, at least you tried. Okay, I'm going to take it out. Um, yeah, so this, this is the inside of this thing. Uh, for those of you who haven't yet guessed. Um, is it the Texas Daisy? Yes, good job. Oh, Francis, I made the adrenal sound so romantic. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have to play the tape back because I don't even know what I said. But <laughs> if they're if they're romantic, they're romantic. Oh, did I say show them some love? That's what I said. I see. I remembered. Um, Zach Attack 90, good job. Thank you to everybody who's joining in. You are joining in if you're just tuning in to the Dr. Janine show and I'm we're doing the quiz section of the show. So just if if you're just tuning in, just take a stab at, at you know, answering the questions. What am I holding up? What is this? It was right down here in our mannequin in Lucy. Um, any other guesses? Good job, Blasian Shaw. Good job. Um, Raki 100, good, good. Okay, Brent, you're also watching on YouTube so you can see it better, yeah, good job. Yeah, you can see all the different pictures that we show. It's a little bit of a different experience on YouTube. And I, I know a lot of people, so Brent um, is, is watching it on two platforms, which I do suggest because you get the full aspect of the show when you watch on YouTube, so. Um, BJ S. Noblin, good job. Yes, it is the bladder. That is the urinary bladder. So yeah, you would think it's it's a lot bigger and it does expand, um, but that's for another anatomy lesson day. Okay, so that's the urinary bladder. All right, let's do, what number am I on now? Four? Question four. Whew, this is getting trickier now. Um, okay, this one's easy. What's this? It might be a bit more difficult because I removed it from Lucy. Oh, <laughs> and we have a hint from my producer. She's saying she needs to put something in it right now. TikTok has it? Aha, uh -huh. Raki 100, Brent. Good job, Raina. Good job. Uh, very quick today, everybody. Sherry, good try. Patty has it on Instagram. Good job. Alicia or Aisha? I am Aisha. Avisha. Okay. Hanita? Good job, good job. Uh, CK Sewn one, good job. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Steve with the jokes. <laughs> oh my God. Can you see Steve's answer? Oh my God. I have to say it. Steve on TikTok is saying it's a hip flask. <laughs> oh my God, that's good. That is funny. <clears throat> I do need to laugh today. That's good. Um, anybody else? Anybody else? Sherry, yes, you are cheeky this morning on Facebook. As, as is Steve on TikTok. Uh, it's me from EP. Good job. B.J.S. Noblin. Good job. Um, <laughs> cowboy lawyer. Thanks for joining. We're doing our quiz section of the show right now. So thanks for joining into the show. Okay, so everybody, this is the stomach. Yes, this is the stomach. So, and producer Melinda needs, says that she needs to put something in her stomach right now. She must be hungry. Okay, oh, oh, I have a good one. This has also been removed. Last, the, I'm on the last question, right? Question number five, final question. So just do your best, everybody. What is this organ right here? The whole thing. I can show you the backside of it as well this organ and that's what it looks like on the back anybody know Woo, Brent very fast good job Racky 100 good job anybody else I'm so curious if you guys are in the health field or you know you study you've studied anatomy physiology uh, Claudia is it Claudia Assy 76 good job. Uh, it's for me, EP, good job. Uh, Brazian Shaw, good job. Uh, Raina, good try. Carmen Bab, good job. Live, love, laugh, 82, good job. I am Alicia, good job. Uh, Arletta, good job on Facebook. Um, <laughs> Sherry's asking, why are all the parts not shaped the same? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's good. Um, 
Aisha, good, good try, good try. Anybody else? Um, Asari, good job. Uh, Raki, no study, just learning from you. Oh, I'm so happy, wow. That makes me feel good. Um, Brent, two years of being sick and trying to heal. Yeah, and, and I'm very proud of you, Brent. That's very important because you've taken your health into your hands and that's, that's the best thing you can do to help yourself, which is amazing. Um, okay, anybody else? Generoso did it, good job. Um, okay, so that is the pancreas, the pancreas, yes. That was the pancreas. So thank you to everybody who participated in today's quiz. And if you're just tuning in now, this is the Dr. Janine Show. We do this every week on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you missed today's episode, it is living on YouTube. So check it out. Tips for Full Body Detox, what they don't want you to know. And this was part two. So I hope you learned something new. If you do have questions or comments about today's video, put them in the comment section. Be sure to share this video as well. Give me a big thumbs up and if you're new here make sure that you subscribe and also click that bell to turn on your post notifications everyone does have a calling in mind in life and mine is to empower you to live a healthy lifestyle and of course to do it naturally thanks for watching today